Hello, folks. It's me again. Rusty Truck. Yeah, let's see where the load is done. To quit that duck. He'll tell us in a minute. Right there. We're going right there. That's where we're going. Yeah, it's me, Rusty Truck, from over here in America. The eastern part of America. Driving over there in Europe. Scandinavia right now up here. Endangers and endangering the citizens. Uh, man, the dogs here. <laughs> Ready to roll with a heavy load. Not too heavy, I guess 28. 28 tons. We got our laptop on the dash, our GPS, and our nice looking Cadillac truck. We ready to roll. Can't drop this low. We're going, Doug. We're going. Look at that, boys. Ain't she pretty? If you can call a truck pretty, that's a, that's a Freddy Jamax skin right there. I don't know. 780, VNL 780, 50. Good sounding truck with a mighty fine looking inside hat on it. Where are you at, though? What are you doing? Well, good. You're, you're a good dog. Not even in a city out here, this little old town I live in ain't about, I don't know, the city limits might have 3,000 people, they ain't too many people in not count. And uh, rents three to four hundred dollars a month. And uh, that's just crazy, I remember you rent stuff a hundred bucks a month. Then a uh, car, new car cost. $40,000. Who do they think is going to buy that car? We all do, I guess, but $40,000. That thing might last uh, five years before you're sick of it. Eight before it quits. <laughs> if you calculate up uh, the miles on it, divide that by how many gallons of gas it gets and see how many gallons of gas you stuck in that thing in five or eight years. That car cost you a ton of money, not, not counting that thousand dollars a year for insurance for two or three of them, but dang, it's crazy. And uh, everything just gets higher. I was thinking about my old grandpa again there a while ago, I called him Paul. Just think about I walked up to him, uh, 30 years ago and said, hey, Paul, I got an idea. 30 years from now, we're going we're gonna to bottle up some water here and put it in a bottle, and we're going to sell that stuff for a dollar a bottle. Why, he, he might have smacked me down, you know what I <laughs> Get your dumb ass out of here, son. <laughs> Yeah, he probably would. He'd probably say that guy's goofing off too much or something if I was thinking that kind of thing and sell a, a bottle of water for a dollar. <laughs> Who would have ever dreamed it? It's just ridiculous. 
I don't know who they expect to buy all this stuff. My cars cost forty some thousand bucks. And uh, five years, divide that up with five years or something, that's just crazy. You drive it off the lot, it's worth about $2,000 less than it was when you started it. I bought one, new one a year ago or something. For the wife, she started it, drove it off the lot, drove it home. Got the license plates and the mail and the tax value on it. Tax value on it is like five thousand dollars less than I paid for the thing. Maybe ten. It's five or ten thousand dollars less than I paid for the thing. Just crazy. What is this world coming to? This truck we're driving here now that would cost a bundle on that crane right there. Man, that would really cost. I know I'm talking too much. Yeah, I know that too. All right then. Cut this uh, video up uh, pretty bad in places. It was like uh, 70, 80 minutes long. I just had to whittle a lot out of it. Maybe good stuff, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, I think it's all good. I hate to cut any out of it. It all looks good. We've got a backhoe We're running the streets now. Uh, a mod, a little tractor back old like the county used to clean out ditch line. And I've seen it two or three times in this video. I hope it didn't cut it out. Holding up traffic, I get behind it once, big long line of traffic. And I meet it once holding up traffic. Look like a county worker going down the highway. Talking about them cars a minute ago, I got a 92, uh, 1992 Chevrolet S10. I bought used for 1200 bucks. Eight or nine years ago. <laughs> it's still running out there. And uh, go out there and fire it up, go anywhere you want. That's the way a fuller should buy them, right there. But, uh, get 1200 bucks for that, man. It's, and that's been, uh, eight years. I ain't even had to buy a set of tires for it. It had real good tires on it. I ain't even wore them out. I get out of the house all the time, dope. We're out of the house now. Yeah, we're on the road again. Where's all these buses going? Cop. Oh yeah, I see him now. He head down there behind that bus. Better watch out, that's one little we wouldn't want to run over. 
Well, there ain't nothing but an old rusty truck likes to haul than heavy equipment. I just love heavy equipment. If you sit on that stuff and run it forever and look at it every day, it's just like a boy with a Tonka toy, you know. I just love heavy equipment. Hauling it around, I think it's the best looking load you can haul. And that right, Mr. Duff. I am a dog, you shot crazy. <laughs> What's married you, Duff? Dad, Dad, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I'm going to shot my dog, I know you make good coffee. And them donuts ain't bad, they're about a week old now, but they ain't bad. You see how many people on that bus? That thing full of people. When we're the going, the alcohol anonymous <laughs> little meeting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they're going. I don't know what that stuff is over there. Maybe a train track. That's a train track there. Mr. Duck? Big old train stations or something or other. That looks nice. We'll take a peek at it. That's because you're a duck.
That was probably a little a uh, fender bender there. They stopped. You see the van back up so the truck could go on. Man, I have a lot of AI fender benders in my videos. I don't know why. Maybe somebody watching can tell me why. Like that one cut me off the other day because I had that long nose truck. I never thought of it and somebody mentioned it. They're not used to those over here. But, uh, I stopped at a tow booth on, uh, on one of my videos there. And, uh, the other lane, the car run right under the other and never stopped. I don't know what's going on with them. Man, that's good coffee, Doug. Get me another cup. <laughs> Man, you're fast getting back there. That looks like a tobacco crop right there. We grow a lot of that around here. That's what it looks like anyway. This right here is where I'm buying that. Uh, I think I was buying that uh, backhoe up there holding up traffic. Never can get a good look at it though. I passed the first gas station almost out of gas. Good thing we run into another one. I do that stuff. Duck, I'll pump the gas. You think it's hot? No, I sit still. Get up to Liverpool one of these days. See if they got any monuments or statues of the Beatles up there. We'll have to ask some of these fellas. Over here uh, in Texas, we got a monument of Stevie Ray Vaughan. And here in Close to my house, got a long monument on uh, Keith Whitley. And a uh, cemetery, a uh, big monument of him standing there playing his guitar. And Stevie Ray Vaughan playing his guitar down there in Texas. Wonder if they got one of the Beatles in Liverpool they should have. Nice uh, billboards. Motorcycle one. Never could understand why a man wanted to buy his woman a motorcycle and let her let him let her ride by herself. Unless she just wanted to ride. Cause why in the world would a man kick a woman off his back? I've not figured that out yet. Me and my wife had rode thousands of miles and I never wanted to put her off on the back by herself. Yeah, that's right. You didn't ride with us, did you? I want to tell you. followed us. Yeah, my little Honda 50. Little Honda 50. I didn't figure you'd keep up with us on that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Doug. That's all the big motorcycle I got. 1,700 cc's, 103 cubic inch. You sure you keep up on it with, uh, with that little Honda 50? I think you're full of it, Doug. That's right. <laughs> I can't tell you, Doug. There's the cops, Doug, staring at National.
on the job, and if the job was a hundred miles or so from where he is at, you just drove your crank there. But if it's a long ways, I guess they'd load it up. They loaded them up and hauled them a lot. But first, when they were when they were newer, when they get older, they haul them a lot. But when they newer, they just drive them. I drove a lot of them down the highway. They wasn't made like that. They had a drill on them, big old boom on top. And drive them down the road a lot longer than that and a lot smaller tires. Just regular tires like on the truck up there. Almost missed a turn talking. Okay, what do I do? What do I do about it? I don't know what to do about it. Ain't nothing wrong with me, Doug. Why is it about me? Well, nobody to talk to. I have to talk to somebody. Well, you not talk to me. I get sick of talking to you. Well, I get sick of you. You're sick to go. Some words are hard at the dust. Yeah. Oh, Freddy, I hope you got a good look at your truck there a few times. From the front view and stuff, she's looking good going down the road. Oh, whoa, I should have cut that part out. Think I might have accidentally bumped the bus. <laughs> I should have looked at what I was cutting. Like that? We didn't scuffle it, did we, Doug? Why would I try? That's a bus out. Yeah, the bus right out there, no problem. Well, we got a pretty clear day to drive this thing. There we go. Boy, this old game, I tell you, it just gets better and better. Hay field, pine trees, wire fences, man, you name it, it's got it. One thing, uh, you go into a, you go into a farm and it's got all that farm animal noise. But if you get outside anywhere else, it's got no birds or animal noise or nothing. I think that'd be kind of nice in here. On that old 18 wheels of steel. From way back, they had all kind of critter noise going on. Uh, you know, birds uh, chirping and going on when he was outside the truck. Yeah, we need that to bring this game to life. We need some animals. I seen somebody's video over there in Alaska, scary, them big wild wolves are uh, howling in the dark and wind whistling. I forget what mod that was, but. That was kind of scary up there, though. What? What did it? It was a big bad wolf, Doug. Oh, no. Their favorite food's Doug. What? Yeah, yeah, that's what I hear. God, you say I was right here. Of what, Doug? What did you the chief and commander <laughs> and uh, Dan Ed's personnel director we kind of snuck off today for about three days to make this run to, to use a skin that I've never used on the truck before one of Freddy's skins so we snuck off the job today I hope they don't notice 
we'll be back to main train, main freight truck and company in a day or two. They'll care, they won't miss us. Well, they might miss us. They might. Duck we we we've stuck on subscribers around seventy-five. Uh, that's not very many. We need a few people to subscribe, don't we? That's all right. I don't know, kinda like to reach a hundred, would you? Well, if y'all like what you see, click on that subscribe button. Let's bump that thing up to a hundred. It's been on seventy something forever. We gotta grow. Maybe I'm putting the wrong name on the video. We're getting ready to jump ahead again here, and I don't know where we're gonna jump to. State Highway back over running down there holding up traffic. That's a mod called M U T T four something. Got a four right there. Got some numbers after it. And uh, you first need to get that and put that in your game. Bring it a little more, a little more realism there. We stuck, slip back on the road again while we was talking. You sleep good, Doug? Yeah, but you yeah, Why didn't you sleep? I went too fast. Oh, uh, it wasn't that fast. We, we just cut some out. Oh, we could go over and sit on one of them picnic tables with them ladies again. Yeah, that's a bad idea, Rex. That's a human situation, yes, you know. You think they thought I was crazy? Yeah. We're here, Duck. Wow. And we're here already. Wow. back is in there with the mirrors as you sometimes I don't but most times but anyway when we get the green light for parked then the duck is out of here yeah we gonna cut her off right there duck yeah, we gotta go somewhere else. We gotta run up, get her truck service, buy a garage. You got all kinds of stuff to do. Yeah. 
I know we're always busy. Folks, thanks for watching. Rusty truck and We'll be back. If good Lord's willing the creeks don't rise as Hank Williams said. But we'll be back with another video. Soon, if I had faster internet, we could get them quicker, but it takes about 12 hours to upload one day on internet. Maybe one day I'll have better internet. Thanks for watching. The old truck. He's out of here. Bye-bye.